Valbowski, who won his elimination in 153 and 2. He's owned by John and Sean Nessa and driven by Ron Pierce. Fellow elimination winner, number two, gun that won the West. Snyder and Eunice co-owned Brennan driving. Brett Pelling poised to top 20 million in Meadowlands career earnings. It's been a big night so far for owner Dave Scharf. He co-owns fully loaded the three with Heffering Fielding and the Pinsky Stables, Eric Ledford. Number four, Phil Lyons, Dancer's Legacy. Mike Lachance driving, looking for his fourth Berry's Creek victory. Jim Morrill Jr. upset Gallo Blue Chip earlier with Riverboat King. He's behind five four-star Shark for the FS Stars Stables. John Campbell has already won four Berry's Creeks. He drives six Matt Damon for Nick Barbieri. Number seven, Abramowitz and Pax. He's all that with Dave Miller. Front end elimination winner, number eight, Picnic in the Park with Luke Willett for owner Marvin Roenick. Number nine, the California Colt, Paltz, owned by Rick Plano and J. Paul Redham with Howard Parker. And completing the field is number 10, Yankee Blitz. He's owned by Martin Sharp, and Jack Moiseev is in the sulky. So that's the field for the sixth race, the $300,000 Berries Creek. Exacta trifecta and the kickoff of tonight's pick four. A wide open, well-matched field of three-year-old pacing colts lining up for the first big test of the season for the sophomore pacers, the $300,000 Berries Creek. They're all in behind the gate, and here they come. Yankee Blitz, the 10, was off stride, and they're sent on their way. Matt Damon is showing some speed for Campbell. Picnic in the park to his outside. Toward the inside is Dancer's Legacy. So it's Dancer's Legacy and Matt Damon battling early for the front. Valbowski drives up on the inside with Picnic in the park, now parked out in third. Gun that won the West is two lengths further back in fifth. Fully loaded, tracking him all the way. Followed seventh by four-star Shark. He's all that is eighth. Pulse is gapped a bit early from ninth. Opening quarter, 26 and two and Yankee Blitz got back pacing quickly and he's caught the field at the tail as they head to the back stretch picnic in the park has worked his way clear Matt Damon will draft along behind him as they head into those strong backstretch wins dancers legacy a length and a half further back third Valbowski commits first over and gun that won the West is poised in a perfect striking spot right now he's setting up his kick from second over just three lengths from the lead fully loaded lines up third over behind him the the half was in 55 and 3. Yankee Blitz rides the cones up into a blind switch from 7th. Four Star Shark is 4th over. He's all that is 5th over. And Pulse is 6th over at the back of the pack, trailing the field. So Picnic in the Park is trying to raid along on the front end here. Valbowski is just riding on the outside about a length from the lead second. Matt Damon is up close, but he'll need to shake free from the box in third. And Gun that won the West looms the danger as they hit three quarters in 124 and 4. Picnic in the park trying to take him all the way. Valbowski trying to live on the outside. Matt Damon is trapped in. Campbell trying to weave his way out. Gun that won the West kicks on on the outside. It's Gun that won the West. Matt Damon shakes free from between them. Four Star Shark is coming late on the outside. Gun that won the West. Four Star Shark is charging hard on the outside. Gun that won the West. Very tight. Gun that won the West appeared to hold on from Four Star Shark and Matt Damon in 152 two flat. Turning to the winner's circle, the Cinderella story, number two, gun that won the West. He's a three-year-old gray cold by Cam's Card Shark out of Kristen Barbara by Distant Thunder, all by Jeff Snyder and Bob Eunice of New York and New Jersey. He's trained by Brett Pelling and driven by George Brennan. Brett Pelling with this victory goes over the $20 million mark in career earnings here at the Meadowlands the second trainer to do so this season after the Remen brothers. Gun that won the West, who was bid in as a yearling when the highest bid was $6,000 for him at a yearling sale, goes on to win the $300,000 Berries Creek, only his second start for the Pelling Barn. And for driver George Brennan, it's his second Berries Creek victory. Of course, he won it with the Iron Horse, hot lead, back in 1996. So Gun that won the West, 
a Cam's Card Shark in 152 flat. Cam's Card Shark, of course, the 94 Berry's Creek champion. Number two, Gun That Won the West, pays $740, four even, $3. Second, number five, Four Star Shark, $480, $340. And third, number six, Matt Damon, paying $320 to show. Exact to two and five, $43.20. The trifecta, two, five, six, pays $120.60. Momentarily, down in the winner's circle, Bob Hollywood Hayden will be speaking to the winning connections. Right now, here's the order of finish for the sixth race. Results top down, 8, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, 9. That's 8, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, 9. We're down in the winner's circle, the winning connections in the various Creek. George Brennan, Brett Pelling, owner, part owner, Bob Eunice. George, coming into the race last week, you raced the last eighth, you exploded home. This week, post two, your strategy coming into the race? <clears throat> strategy was try to get the best trip I could, and uh, we kind of figured Brett and me, we'd figure to uh, follow the one horse, and uh, it just worked out. Text were perfect, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it was a tough job, though. He was, uh, wasn't was real good gated tonight, and uh, just a matter of greenness. He's real green yet. Okay, you made a big move top of the stretch. Horses coming from both sides. What were you thinking in the stretch? I was just looking for the wire because he was, you know, like I said, he wasn't sure of himself. You know, the last two weeks he's been asked to go speeds he's never been, been at before. So, uh, you know, he's really not sure of himself yet. He's not set on his feet yet. So, uh, he, he he wasn't real solid. So I was just praying for the wire. Okay, Brett Pelling, you told me coming into this race you probably follow Valbowski second over. It was almost like you saw a replay. Everything worked out to perfection, at least to the three quarter pole anyway. Yeah, well, it did tonight. Finally, uh, something worked your way. Uh, the way the wind was blowing tonight too, I, I thought something real odd might happen in the race, but. Uh, it, it set up the way we thought it would. Coming into, you had five days last week, you won the elimination. Do anything different in week two? Well, we, uh, he's got a couple of problems with a splint, and uh, we froze that, and uh, it, it's a real good size splint, and I really don't think it took the way it should have, and uh, he looked like something was biting him there tonight, so we're going to go back and work on him some more, but, you know, he's a young horse. He's very, very green. He's got to learn how to pace fast, and, uh, you know, this is a lot to ask of him. Eighth career start. By the way, twenty million dollars. Brett Pelling, you've only been here since 1988. What does that feel like? Well, it's uh, you know how much further will we go? Uh, twenty million. I, I'm I was thrilled when you told me we were close to there not long ago, and uh, you know I'm proud of all the guys that work for me and uh, just everything we've been through. I mean, it's uh, it's been a great accomplishment from everybody. Thanks to Brett Pelling, Robert Eunice. When you saw Jeff Snyder, a yearling, a, ca a weanling called Camp's Car Chart, do you ever think he'd be sitting here a few years later in a winter circle with a son of Camp's Car Chart? No, I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry I sold him him, though. <laughs> what about uh, Gundam on the West? You bred the horse, right? Yeah, I, I bred him myself, yeah. Okay, when did you realize that you might have a race horse, a good one on your hands? Uh, maybe uh, when he was, well, he was, he was a two-year-old. He was a very good two-year-old, and he, uh, we just kept him the same way he was and uh, hoped for the best, that's all. He came back good after he broke a bone, you know. Why just four starts or two? Excuse me? Why only four starts as a three-year-old? Uh, because he, he, uh, he cracked a sesamoid and he had to have a bone chip removed. Okay, and coming into this race, you and Jeff Snyder are now partners on the horse. Yes, right. Okay, what about after this? What about going to one the West? Where does he head? Uh, well, he, he goes to Sire Stakes next week and uh, the uh, Jersey Classic the week after. Whether Brett wants to race him in a Sire Stakes or not, just get him ready for the Classic, I don't know. Okay, I think Jeffrey Snyder might be overseas. We'll uh, hope he's watching on simulcast. Robert Eunice, George Brennan, Brett Pelling, all the connections. The winner, Barry's Creek Final, gun that won the West, is the winner.